DeepSeek v3.1 just destroyed expectations. 685 billion parameters, a 128,000 token context window. A benchmark score that beat Claude Opus 4 while running 68 times cheaper. It dropped on Hugging Face without warning, and within hours, the AI world realized this open source release was going head to head with GPT-5. The shock wasn't about marketing. It wasn't hype. It was the raw numbers. A 71.6% score on the Ader programming benchmark instantly spread across the community. Claude Opus 4 had been sitting on top of those rankings, but here was an open model edging past it. And the surprise didn't stop there. Developers testing V3.1 quickly realized that the same coding task that cost $70 on a closed system now ran for about a dollar. For enterprises running thousands of tasks daily, that's the kind of gap that can change entire budgets overnight. What made the shockwave stronger was timing. OpenAI had just released GPT-5. Anthropic had rolled out Cloud 4. Both were locked behind expensive APIs and marketed as the cutting edge of Frontier AI. And then DeepSeek came in, unannounced, tossing their system into the open like it was public infrastructure. It wasn't just a release, it was a statement. Developers didn't waste time. They immediately stress-tested V3.1. Huge blocks of text were fed into it, in some cases entire novels. The context window of 128,000 tokens is massive. To put it into perspective, in Chinese characters, that equals around 100 to 160,000 characters. That's about 1 16th of A Dream of Red Mansions, one of the longest classical novels in China. Of course, the model can't perfectly handle all of that at once, but even when pushed to a tenth of that size, it responded with speed and accuracy. Speed was another part of the shock. Previous reasoning-heavy models would bog down when faced with complex tasks. They could get the right answers, but it took time, sometimes painfully slow. V3.1 cut through that problem. Developers notice that it returned answers almost instantly, even for reasoning tasks that traditionally slowed other models to a crawl. Clearly, this wasn't just about scaling up. Something inside the architecture had changed. DeepSeek called it a hybrid architecture. For years, AI researchers had tried hybrids, models that could code, reason, and chat. But most attempts ended in disappointment. They became jacks of all trades, but masters of none. V3.1 finally solved that balance. It didn't split roles into separate models anymore. The earlier reasoning model labeled R1 was gone. Now, everything consolidated into V3.1, one flagship system carrying every ability. But then came another discovery, hidden tokens inside the model. Researchers digging through the weights found four unique tokens, search begin, search end, think, and end think. These weren't ordinary tokens, they suggested that the model could privately reason before giving an answer, and even fetch real-time information if connected to the web. For years, people had been asking when models would have built-in reasoning and search. And here it was, quietly embedded inside an open source release. The benchmarks backed up the hype. On the Ader programming benchmark, V3.1 scored 71.6%, beating Claude Opus 4 by a full point. On SVG Bench, which tests structural and visual reasoning, it ranked just behind GPT 4.1 Mini, far surpassing DeepSeek's earlier R1 model. On MMLU, the standard for language understanding, it held its own against GPT-5. Sure, GPT-5 still performed better on graduate-level reasoning and advanced software engineering, but the fact that an open model could even stand that close was groundbreaking. And here's where things got very real, cost efficiency. Andrew Christensen, an AI researcher, pointed out that a single coding benchmark that once cost $70 now cost just about one. Multiply that difference across thousands of enterprise tasks every day and you're looking at millions saved. That wasn't theory, it was immediate math that businesses could calculate for themselves. The launch wasn't just a technical achievement, it was a geopolitical move. Back in 2020, China's 14th five-year plan highlighted a preference for open source AI. The strategy was simple, accelerate global adoption by giving away powerful models, sacrifice short-term profits to secure long-term influence. And now, with Hugging Face's trending charts, dominated by Chinese releases, the strategy is clearly working. V3.1 shot into the top five downloads within hours of launch. The developer community reaction was overwhelming. 
Hugging Faces head of product, Victor Mustar, called open source AI at its peak, directly pointing at models like this. On Reddit, users noticed that the Think button from earlier DeepSeek versions was gone, outputs were longer and sharper, and performance was far beyond what they expected. And all of this happened before DeepSeek even published the official model card. But this wasn't the first time DeepSeek rattled the industry. Back in January, when they unveiled the original V3, they revealed that training costs were only $5.6 million, using about 2,000 slower NVIDIA chips. That was unheard of. Until then, people assumed you needed hundreds of millions to train a frontier system. The news alone wiped $600 billion off NVIDIA's market cap in a single day. Governments, especially in the West, moved quickly. Many banned DeepSeek's chatbot versions, worried about user data ending up on Chinese servers. But with V3.1, the story changed. This wasn't a chatbot tied to one country's infrastructure. This was an open model, free to download worldwide. Competitors suddenly faced a brutal economic question. How do you justify premium prices when a comparable model is sitting online for free? It was the Linux story all over again. Once open source software reached a certain quality, closed versions became harder to defend. The full V3.1 model is massive, about 700 gigabytes. So most people won't run it locally, but that doesn't matter. Cloud providers are already preparing hosted versions, which means the barrier to entry is basically gone. The result is pressure, intense pressure on closed AI labs. If an open model performs well enough, then the value of a closed system has to come from something else. Enterprise integrations, compliance, maybe trust, exclusivity, once the selling point is no longer guaranteed. DeepSeek's official community has already crossed 80,000 members, and the growth isn't slowing down. Researchers like Tier Taxes had predicted DeepSeek would eventually collapse all its separate product lines into one unified system. With V3.1, that prediction came true. The impact stretches further than just benchmarks. For the first time, small teams can realistically compete at the frontier level without needing hundreds of millions in funding. The myth that only American labs could build these systems is breaking down. Now, startups, independent researchers, even small countries can grab tools that rival the most advanced AI in the world. That's where the irony of the phrase, artificial intelligence, comes into play. For years, the intelligence wasn't artificial at all. It was the scarcity. Companies put up barriers, paywalls, and geopolitical restrictions to limit who could use frontier models. DeepSeek just proved those walls weren't necessary. Intelligence at the frontier doesn't have to be artificial in its availability. It can be open. That's why people call this release disruptive. It was an exaggeration. 685 billion parameters, a 128,000 token context window, benchmark scores surpassing Claude Opus 4, costs that undercut competitors 68 times over, and all of it released without warning. No press campaign, no massive event, just a file uploaded online that anyone could download. For competitors, this is the nightmare scenario. For developers, it's liberation. And for the rest of us watching AI evolve, it's a reminder that the story is only just beginning. DeepSeek v3.1 has already reset expectations for what open source AI can be. And if this is only the stepping stone toward v4, the shockwaves we've seen so far may be just the beginning. If you found this breakdown helpful, and want to stay updated as this story develops, don't forget to subscribe. More deep dives into AI are on the way, and you won't want to miss them.